This is Dave at the uh, YMCA. I'm just going to um, put, uh, put together a few exercises that you guys can do at home, help you stay active, help you stay um, fit during this time. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to do a couple different things. We're going to do some things to get your heart going, and then we're going to do some things to strengthen your body. Get a couple different workouts here. All right. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, just going to get loose. Do some arm circles. Do these frontwards, right? And now let's go backwards with it. All right, we'll do some trunk twists. Just twist like this. This is more just to kind of get the blood flowing. This is to get kind of all your upper body muscles loose. All right, before we start any activity, we want to loosen up a little bit here. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do some jumping jacks. Okay, and when we're doing the jumping jacks, we're just gonna do 10 of them, okay? You can follow along at home. Here we go, so we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good job, okay, we're gonna finish like this. Next thing we do, we're gonna get, get our heart rate going a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna run in place and I'm going to say it's for 30 seconds, but I'm just kind of counting. So you can just follow along with me. It might be a little bit longer than 30 seconds. Okay, so here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30. All right. Okay. Next thing we're going to do. Okay. We are going to basically we're trying to build up upper body strength. For some people that can't or have a hard time doing push-ups, one of the main issues is getting into a correct position and being able to hold their body up. So what we're going to do is we're going to do five sets of 10 seconds, just holding ourselves up in a push-up plank, okay? And I find that the best way to do this, start off on, on your knees, okay? And to put one hand out first, the second hand out, okay? And turn sideways so you can see a little bit better. Put one hand out first, second hand out, Put your, move my notes there, put your one foot back, your second foot back, and we're gonna hold, right? And now I'm in a perfect and pretty good position where I'm gonna go down and do push-ups and all that. Well, let's say you're having a hard time getting into this position and holding your body. So before you can do push-ups correctly, the first step is to be able to hold your body up right. So I'm just gonna to count to 10 right here. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. I'm gonna rest for about ten seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm gonna do another one. So I have my hands here, back, back, and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, 
eight, nine, and 10. We're down to here. And what we're gonna do in the next video, um, we're gonna actually do some push-ups. But I think that this is a good start, especially if you're having, um, having a hard time holding yourself up. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go back and back, and I'm gonna hold for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Go back here, we're gonna do two more sets. You guys can kind of get the hang of it. And these are a good one too because this also helps to keep your, your back straight, helps to keep your core engaged, and it's strengthening your upper body as well. It's not just something that you're just doing to do, you're actually strengthening, you're strengthening your joints, you're strengthening your core, your lower back, you're strengthening your upper body to get ready to do those push-ups. And one of the things when we do push-ups is we want to make sure that we're doing them with correct form. Okay, so we're going to do two more sets. We're going to start here and here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go down here. Let's get the hang of it. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right. Now we're going to keep that heart rate going, so we're going to jog 30 seconds again. Here we go, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, So, so far in a short amount of time, got our heart rates going a little bit. We've loosened up, working on upper body strengthening a little bit. We're gonna hit some abdominals now. We'll stretch down, and that'll be it for this workout. Another few minutes, okay? If you've been able to keep up so far, great job. Okay, a couple things where, if some of these things are, when I'm holding the planks, if you feel like you've progressed up from that, you can try to do 10 push-ups during that time, okay? Um, but we can, I'll walk you through it so you can just stay on the same pace as well. All right, so here we go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a front plank, and this is for building up core. Okay, primarily your, you know, your center core and your center abdominals. Okay, what I'm going to do is do three sets. I'm going to do a plank for 10 seconds, rest for about five or six seconds. Do a plank for 20 seconds, rest for about five or six seconds, and then do a plank for 30 seconds. Okay, so. Similar to how I did the push-up, okay? I'm gonna get down, okay? And when I'm doing a plank, all I'm gonna do is my body weight's gonna be right here on my forearms and on my uh, feet. So I'm gonna go down here like that first, and I'm gonna go here, and I'm just gonna hold. So right, this first one's gonna be quick. I'm just gonna do 10. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine and ten. Good. Everybody get the hang of it? Rest for about five seconds. So one, two, three, four, and five. We're gonna do another one. Here we go. This one's gonna be twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, 
16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Good. This one will rest for about eight or nine seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here we go. We come to 30 this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Good job. Good job, guys. Those of you guys that were able to keep up with all those three things, great job. If not, just keep working up to it. And this is a type of workout where you can definitely do this workout every day. You can do this 12-minute workout a couple times a day. Okay, and that's the whole thing is just to stay consistent with it and just try to progress up a little bit. All right, so now we're just gonna stretch and cool down real quick, okay? So we did do a lot of upper body with our arms and our chest. We're just gonna give a nice shoulder stretch here. Just put your arms straight, put your other arm here. We're gonna hold for 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're gonna go to the other arm, same thing. Got my Left arm here, I'm pushing on my arm here. Get a good shoulder stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, this next one here, we're gonna stretch triceps. So I'm gonna go hands straight, now back down here. Behind my neck, grab and pull here for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna go right hand here, back down here, and pull for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome job, guys. So far, we're gonna go hands behind our back, clasp our fingers, and just push up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We'll do one more nice big stretch with our core. Just keep our arms up, try to touch the sky, keep your hands together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, guys. Good job with workout number one. Okay, workout number two now is gonna focus a lot more on uh, lower body strength. We still are gonna do some upper body strength though too, because that's important. So we're going to give you guys some things you can do at home to keep your lower body strong. All right. So uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.